okay hello everyone welcome back so today i am going to tell you the shortcut to the rotation method okay so if you remember this question uh, this is a question when line is inclined to both the principal planes horizontal plane and vertical plane and you know that to solve this question we have to follow some steps okay these steps you have to follow and these steps constitutes rotation method these are the steps belongs to the rotation method okay i'm today i'm going to tell you just a shortcut method to approach your rotation method okay so if you remember this question and you remember that you have to follow this step like that first you rotate your line ab and make it parallel to vp then you rotate your line ab and make it parallel to hp okay then you have to make a locus of n b and in front view and top view both then you are going to make a front view and top view okay i i'll change this little bit over here and which i found much easy than the steps let's see let's see and make it like that okay so you know that this question is line a b which is 60 mm long so true length is given 60 mm and a is given in front of vp 15 mm 10 mm above hp and it is at 45 degree to hp and 30 degree to vp and you are going to make its projection with front view and top view so you can see here this is line ab the theta angle is given with hp that is 45 and phi angle is given that is with vp which is 30 and this is line ab and and a is given that is 10 mm above hp 15 mm in front of vp so, so first of all make a projection of and a over here okay so take a line like this and you know that above hp it is 10 so make it 10 enter again take a line and make it 15 okay in this way you had made the projections of and a in front view and top view make a nomenclature here so this is a dash make this selected and 7 okay so this is a dash the same way i'll make it copy this one and put over here so this is a only because it is a top view of nd so this way i can make a projection of and a in front view and top view now just you don't forget these steps and just make a line from here at an angle of 45 okay just make this line because you know that the angle with hp is always seen from the front view just make this line okay and you know that from the top view i can see the angle 30 degree with vp okay just make a line 60 at an angle of 30 so you done okay now make your locus lines here okay so what i did here is if you make this a front view do not go this side and complete your line like this okay instead of that now make a locus line here okay take a line come over here and make a line over here which becomes your locus line like this again take a line come over here make a locus line like this okay make these line into locus lines as per convention of lines like this okay now start with like this make a line over here again take a line and make a line over here like this okay so in this way what i did here is i do not make like these one just rotate your line ab make it parallel to vp and complete the front view and top view here then parallel to hp then complete your front view and top view i will make like this okay now what i am going to do now here is just take a line okay now 
start from this end come down like this and stop here in the same way start from here go upwards like this and stop here okay so you can see that i did like this now you know that you are going to rotate your this line up to towards this distance rotate like this i rotate like this okay so instead of compass i am going to use circle put over here and done it and remove the unwanted portion which is this from like this so i'll rotate just trim it and take your line come over here and like this so you can understand this is my actual line or apparent length from the front view okay in the same way take a circle this one and this one okay and trim the unwanted portion which is outside like this like this and take a line again come over here come over here so this is done okay so you can see that okay so this is your true lens make also thick and these are your apparent lens which are some angle 45 and 30 degree okay so you can see here i'll just manipulate the rotation method to complete my question in easy way okay you can compare both methods very much easily okay so i'll rest with the nomenclature only i'll make like this i copy copy this one okay i know that this is b okay and again i copy it and put over here again copy this one this one and put over here i know that these are the actual what are what these points are okay now i make a dimension angular dimension this is this is 45 again angular dimension this one this one and 30 okay so you can see here there is a no difference of both of these diagrams okay this is a completely rotation method whatever the rotation method says i just manipulate some steps in the rotation method and make this very easily in compare to your rotation method so you can select any of these two and whatever you want to make you can make with the help of rotation method or just a manipulation of rotation method okay and i hope you understand if you find this easy you can go to this one if you find this easy you can go to this one okay i hope you understand both of these things thank you very much